Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha Rakakwadash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone, who were well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here preaching this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as I want to, uh, you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters. And I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey, may he all show mercy upon us and deliver us and make us, allow us to be first fruits. Okay, this is Brother Karataza, and I'm back with another video epistle, Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. And it's going to be a, a King James Bible Online verse of the day for Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. All right. The year of hastening the day of our Lord, our King and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the lesson comes, the, the verse of the day comes from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15 and verse 7. And it reads, Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. All right. And like the scripture says, what was written aforetime was written for our learning. All right. And this is concerning our forefathers. All right. So with, with that, we're going to uh, read this uh, chapter. All right, Second Chronicles chapter fifteen and verse seven. All right, and we're we're gonna read the whole chapter. All right, uh, it's uh, nineteen verses long. We're gonna I got a couple precepts written down. All right, if it's if if it's too long, then hey, you know you don't have to stay, man. We ain't we we not bending nobody's arm. So this is Second Chronicles chapter fifteen and verse one, and the spirit of the Most High Yahweh came upon Azariah, the son of Odeb. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. All right, and look at that. Benjamin is H1144, all right? And the Lord Yahweh is with you while ye be with him. And if ye seek him, he will be found of you. But if ye forsake him, he will forsake you. All right. So, yeah. Hey, even today, those of us that are seeking the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, he will be found of us. All right. Let's go here. Uh, we're going to use this app to grab precepts. OK. Uh, so with that, the first precept we're going to grab, this is going to be the book of Isaiah. All right. Well, matter of fact, let's go here. All right, because before we grab that Isaiah, I want to get these precepts in. Uh, this is going to be the book of Romans because I had made, I had quoted a scripture. This is Romans, I want to say chapter 15. Yep, and it reads, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so we're reading all the way back to our forefathers, all right, in Second Chronicles, all right, and we're going to grab precepts along the way, hey, amen, nothing, nothing has changed, man, all right, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, there's a change, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 6, and it reads, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near, man, all right, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, has granted uh, liberty to those to those of us all right right now those of us israelites all right uh he has he he has granted us liberty to seek him man 
All right. Uh, verse seven, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. Hey, and the heavenly father, Yahweh by Shem Shai, he's very merciful and long suffering, man. All right. If my memory serves me correctly, we're going to grab that. All right, then we're going to go back into this uh, uh, Second Chronicles. All right, uh, let me see here. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh. And this is Salakia. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 14 and verse 8. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation because we come back. All right. Generation, man. Hey, reincarnation is in the it's all through the Bible. Hey, we come we always keep coming back, man. All right. We get a new body, but it's the same spirit. All right. So uh with that, let's go back into uh Second Chronicles chapter 15. Um, let me see. All right. Uh, let me see. Verse three. Now for a long season, Israel have been without the true power, Yahweh, and without a teaching priest and without law. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel and saw him, he was found of them. All right. The heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shemiah, Shai, man, he hears our cries. He hears our pleas. He's shown us mercy. It's uncountable how many times the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, has whooped our ass and turned around and heard us crying and saved us, man. All right? And in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in, but great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the countries. A nation was destroyed of nation and city of city, for the Most High Yahweh did vex them with all adversity. The hey, the Lord Yahweh tear our ass up, man. All right. Here's the scripture of the day. Verse 7. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is going to reward his elect. Start with the 144,000 elect, man, as, as well as the... Who, who are part of the one third, which the one third also consists of men, women, children, whom the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shai is going to deem to receive mercy and be first fruits, this first go around. All right. All of Israel, yes, will be saved, but the first go around, no. One third will be saved and two thirds going to be destroyed. The two thirds are going to have to be born back in. We don't want that, man. All right, we're going to get that again. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, he's all about that. Let's go here. Let's go here to the book of um, Hebrews. All right, uh, bear with me. And if you hear, like, noise in the background, I'm in, a, I'm in my uh, vehicle, and I'm sitting in a park, all right, because I was at work. All day, I said, man, I ain't do a video in a minute. My spirit, I was convicted in the spirit, man. All right, I said, soon as before I eat, soon as I get off work, before I go home, I'm gonna cut at this park and I'm gonna do a couple videos, man. All right, so this Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. All right, and it reads, For the Most High Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right. And man, I wish I could uh, grab this other precept. Yep. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm going I'm to I'm do it. I'm going to pause this video. Con, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach. In the Apocrypha, uh, chapter 33 and verse 17. And it reads, consider that I labored not for myself only but for all them that seek learning learning of the the heavenly what the heavenly father Yahweh by Shem Shai wants of uh, so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans man all right 
So with that, uh, going back into Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10, uh, it reads, For the Most High Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we know that the saints are the Israelites, okay? And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, being the hopeful elect. And yes, uh, show the same diligence. So I was convicted in the spirit for uh, not doing, you know, a lesson in a day, in a couple days, man. All right. Uh, verse 12, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. All right. Because if we suffer, what it tells us in the book of Romans chapter uh, 8 and verse 17, if we suffer with you, roughly paraphrasing, if we suffer with Yahweh Shai, we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. All right. So uh, with that, continuing on, you know what? Let's go back into the, uh, we're going to go back into the second Chronicles. All right. Uh, bear with me. Second Chronicles uh, 15. I forgot where we left off at. So uh, let me see here. Yep, and you shall be of Second Chronicles 15 and 7. Uh, be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. All right, hey, and what did, hey, let's grab this scripture. All right, I got another scripture. Let's grab this. This is going to be the book of St. Matthew, chapter 19, and we're going to see what Peter asked and said. All right. Uh, let me see here. This is Saint uh, Matthew chapter nineteen and verse twenty-seven. Well, <laughs> it's like it. We'll start at verse twenty-six. But Yahweh beheld them and said unto them, "With men this is impossible, but with the Most High Yahweh all things are possible." Man, all right, hey, the heavenly nothing is impossible to the heavenly Father Yahweh Shem <laughs> Shai. It's like it. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life, man. All right, putting Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai first, man. All right, no matter what. Oh, it's Saturday, You it's, it's, it's camp day, it's time to go off of camp. Hey, your wife. Your, your your woman, what a hey, your mama, your brother, your sister want you to do something during camp hours? Oh hell no. Nah. You gonna have to wait till camp over with. Alright? Hey, that's just one example. Alright, of putting your house shy first, man. Alright. So going back into the second chronicles, uh chapter fifteen. Uh let me see here. Verse eight, and when I saw heard these words. And the prophecy of Oded, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable, abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim and, re and renewed the altar of the Lord Yahweh that was before the porch of the Lord Yahweh. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and the strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon, and they fell to him out of Israel in abundance when they saw that the Lord Yahweh his power was with him. Yeah, Israel Jake act right. All right, Jake gonna act right, man. Jake gonna try to act right when they see who the Lord dealing with in these days to come, man. All right. So they gathered them say, Hey, the scriptures say my people will shall be willing in that day. All right. As a matter of fact. 
Let's grab it, man. All right. Uh, let me see here. People. So like here. I just put willing. All right. Let's see what pops up. Oh, because that's an apocrypha. We need to go to the Old Testament. Bear with me, I can. Okay, here it is at the bottom. Psalms 110 and uh, verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast to do of thy youth. All right. Uh, back in Second Chronicles uh uh, 15 and 10. So they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month in the 15th year of the reigns of Asa. And they offered unto the Lord Yahweh the same time of the spoil which they had brought 700 oxen and 7,000 sheep. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord Yahweh of their fathers with all their heart. And with all their soul. That whoso and that word heart goes back to mind. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Hey, the Maccabees was in this spirit, man. When you read first and second Maccabees, all right. Uh you know, they they was down with that, man. All right, and they swear unto the Lord Yahweh with a loud voice. And with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire, and he was found of them. And the Lord Yahweh gave them rest round about. And also concerning Makkah, the mother of Assad, the king, he removed her from being queen because she had made an idol in a grove, and Asa cut her Salakia so like Asa cut down her idol and snapped it and burned it at the brook Kadron. And Salakia so like verse 17, but the high places were not taken away out of Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect all his days. And he brought into the house of the Most High Yahweh things that his father had dedicated and he himself had dedicated silver and gold and vessels. And there was no more war unto the five and thirteenth year of the reign of a, of Asa. All right, so yeah, when when we follow when we follow and do what the Lord uh, wants us to, a hey, He's with us, man. All right, a hey, matter of fact, I'm going up because uh, let me see here. Okay, con con. I want to go back to verse nine because there's a precept that I want I want to get for this, and we'll close out with this precept. Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen and verse nine, and he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and the strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon, for they fell to him out of Israel in abundance when they saw that the Lord Yahweh power. So like it when they saw that the Lord his power was with him. All right. So this brings to mind, I'm going to grab this real close out uh, a scripture in the Apocrypha in uh, the book of Judith, uh, chapter five. Uh, I know verse 17, but let's see. If, uh, yep. This is Judith chapter uh, five and verse 17. And whilst they sin not before their power, they prospered because the most high Yahweh that hated iniquity was with them. All right. So, hey, when we sin not, the Heavenly Father, when the nation of Israel sins not, and we're following the law, statutes, and commandments, the Lord Yahweh was with us. Verse 18. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore. 
and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by enemies. And is, is that not, do we not see that now? All right. And do we not see that we're captives? We're still captives in the land of our captivity. All right. And the Lord, how about Shemel Shai is letting these uh, heathens run over us, man. All right. And he's about to really let let the floodgates open it and let them run loose because uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 is coming. All right. Jacob's trouble. So, you know what? Uh, and as you can see, like this was Achior. Uh, all right. Telling uh, the men, the chief men of Holofernes. All right. About about this all right don't mess with them israel if the lord if they doing what's right the lord gonna fight for them but if they doing what's wrong y'all could take them all right but read judith all right judith is a read the apocrypha man the, the whole judith all the books in the apocrypha which were taken out of the king james bible esau says do the printing costs to cut on printing costs so you man that, you know what Lord willing, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Ko Halal Yimla, Yehawa, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wahara, Kakwadash, Barakatham. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe. All right, so with that, I want to say a ball, ball, and Shalom.